Welcome to Gilvach, a hidden gem right in the heart of mid Wales. For such a small area, it has a huge number of habitats and they support a fantastic variety of wildlife. It's a patchwork landscape created by farming that started here a long, long time ago. This circular structure here is the remains of a Bronze Age burial cairn and it shows that people were living in this valley 3,000 years ago and back then they would have been raising livestock and growing crops, a way of life that continues to this present day. The farm as we know it dates back to the 1500s when the longhouse was built overlooking the valley. It was then rebuilt in the 1700s but the design was the same with people living one side and animals on the other. The last owner, Mr Hughesy Lewis, had no heir to take it on and he left the farm in the 1960s. Now it quickly went into disrepair and it would have collapsed completely had it not been saved by the Radnorshire Wildlife Trust in 1988. Their interest lay also in the land around, which had largely escaped modern improvements of artificial fertilisers, weed killers and pesticides. And as such, Gilvach is a refuge for a wealth of plants and animals that are struggling to survive elsewhere. The River Martek tumbles through the valley and joins the River Wye just outside the entrance to the reserve. Look out for dippers, and in the clear waters, brown trout are also hunting for aquatic insects. The fish here attract otters, especially in autumn, when salmon run up the Marteg to their spawning grounds. Otters are hard to see by day, but we know they're here because of camera traps like this one. Patches of oak woods are home to a variety of summer visitors, including redstart and pied flycatchers, which do well at Gilvach because of the abundance of insect life. provision of nest boxes greatly improves their breeding success. Everywhere you go you see evidence of man's work in shaping the land. These massive stone slabs were lined up here to protect an earth bank field boundary. Like all the rocks here they've become encrusted with lichen, part alga, part fungus, they don't look much at first glance, but take a closer look and you enter a strange world full of different shapes, patterns and colours. There are well over 400 species here at Gilvach, making it one of the lichen hotspots of Wales. The valley today seems tranquil and off the beaten track, but for centuries it was part of an important pathway across the Cambrian mountains. The monk's trod dates from the 1100s and linked the two Cistercian monasteries at Abbey Coombe here and Strata Florida. Until about 50 years ago, steam trains chugged through the valley. Now the old line with its cuttings and embankments is another important habitat for wildlife. From heather-clad hills to flower-rich meadows, from oak woodland to tumbling river, Gilvach has got it all. Whatever the season, there are always new things to see. And there are trails that take in most of the different habitats and places of interest, with great views along the way. You are not confined to the trails. The reserve is open access, so feel free to wander where you like. So come on, come and explore. And above all, enjoy Gilvach. It's a special place.